Yo, what's up? My name is Kiwi. I'm Steve. Yo, we in Toledo, Ohio, about to turn up. They say I'm the plug, I don't talk it, I walk it. Running with some thugs on the block, yeah, I rock it. But show me some love, cause they know I can sauce. I'm a sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say I've been doing music on a serious note since 2011 when I got saved. I gave my life to Jesus and Music kind of like took off. I've been having a blast with it. What about yeah, you, bro? Yeah, about the same. You know, I started in church, uh, played at a few churches, and I expanded out doing this kind of ministry stuff with other artists and stuff that go out in the community, um, do this kind of work, so. Yeah, I just wanted to really like give back to the community. And music was like, I said, if I'm going to record, I'm going to record quality, and I'm going to give people truth. So 2012, I just started really doing it. And now these years like to come have been like some of the best years. Quit your stressing. Don't miss your blessing. Just have your mind made up in one direction. Good Day is more of like a one of my universal tracks. So I wrote it. Little do people know I was staying in my church um, for about six months. And uh, I was actually having a good day, even though my circumstances didn't reflect that. We all run into financial situations where like, it seems like, man, I just paid this bill. I just paid this one. I just wanted to let people know that no matter how how much those bills are hanging over you, like God will still make a way. No matter what the situation looks like, it won't rain forever. You have complete power to speak life into your day. Like God has granted us, like he, he gave us that. You got the power to speak into your day. No matter what you're going through right now, no matter how many people hurt you, you got the power to say it's gonna be a good day. You guys know an ex. Um, Barnabas, the son of encouragement. I said if I had to relate myself to anybody in the Bible, it would be Barnabas, the son of encouragement. He looks and seeks out the best in people, even when they turn on him. The guy's heart is like solely towards the Lord. And I said, you know what? I always look and seek out those uh, good qualities in people. I named this next project Barnabas. Yeah, just for that very reason. I just wanted to let people know that I'm more than a rapper. People tarnish like the hip hop scene, like man, hip hop is only known for degrading women. Hip hop is only known for, you know, talking about this and that. You can bring, incorporate Jesus into that and help cultivate the culture of what people view hip hop as. So we're Christians, we come from a hip hop background, now let's introduce Jesus to that joint. At the end of the day, we want to connect with the culture. We want to connect with people and have them question like, man, it's something about that person. It's something about that man. It's something about my boy, how he drums so, I don't know, vibrant. Like, it's something about that. And when they draw curious to that and want to know more about him, they know more about him. That's what it is. So we're just trying to be a reflection. Yeah, the reflection. Bring the light into the darkness. That's what it's all about. So I think that's the most important thing. Yeah. So.